height, 650 feet. Weight, 628 million tons. Age, 200 million years. The largest exposed mass of granite in the world, Stone Mountain rises up out of the Georgia countryside, a monument to the marvelous works of nature. On its northern side, a man-made monument, a relief carving of Robert E. Lee, Jefferson Davis, and Stonewall Jackson, that when completed will be one of the largest sculptures on earth, etched in solid granite, a memorial to heroic men of another day. In the shadow of Stone Mountain, another remarkable sight, a 3,200 foot long granite quarry that feeds a giant plant unique in American industry. Though just eight miles from Stone Mountain, the granite quarried here is completely different from that of the mountain itself in structure and texture. The granite in this quarry is different in other ways too. Its color is different from other deposits of granite. And it contains more than 20 important minerals. These special qualities give the granite in this quarry a distinctive value, a value that sets it apart from the ordinary uses of granite, such as the construction of skyscrapers. The carving of monuments and markers, or the building of modern highways. The granite quarried and processed at Lithonia, Georgia, finds its way to farms throughout the world. Its mineral properties revitalizing soil, helping farmers harvest bigger and better crops. The granite quarried and processed at Lithonia, Georgia, finds its way to poultry farms. Its unique color and texture helping poultrymen all over the world raise healthier, meatier birds in shorter time. But how does a rapidly expanding poultry industry, typified by large, well-planned and well-run farms, use granite to improve production? We've all heard the expression, scarce as a hen's teeth. And we've all seen chickens constantly picking up small pieces of gravel and stone. Well, it's true. Hen's teeth are scarce. In fact, chickens have no teeth at all. So the pieces of gravel they pick up, along with their feed, substitute for teeth, helping chickens better perform the vital function of feed digestion. These small stones enter the chicken's gizzard, where they grind both litter and feed. An x-ray study made by the Granite Grit Institute of America has shown that the most efficient grinding action in the gizzard is achieved when chickens are given processed granite instead of just any stone. A comparison of gizzard contents from nine-week-old broilers tells the story. With no grit, the gizzard retains a large amount of litter. The wrong size granite grit helps, but still too much litter and feathers remain, reducing the gizzard's capacity to grind valuable feed. The correct size granite grit grinds up the litter well, allowing adequate gizzard room to grind feed efficiently. Birds eat a certain amount of feathers and litter when they are well, but consumption of these materials is stepped up when they are ill, so the proper size grit is needed for efficient grinding at all times. Professional poultrymen know the importance of the right size grit. That the right size helps raise production, helps keep feed costs down. They know that each pound of feed must be put to full use, that the gizzard must not be clogged with litter if poultry is to benefit from its feed, growing healthier, meatier, or producing more and better eggs. Helping poultrymen find the right type, the right size granite grit, the poultry research farm of Stone Mountain Grit Company was established specifically to serve the needs of the poultry industry. Under the direction of Dr. G. F. Heuser, experiments conducted here are furthering the work begun by Dr. O. B. Kent, the farm's first director and a pioneer in the field of poultry nutrition. Through exhaustive testing and experimentation, recommendations for ideal grit feeding programs have been developed for many types and ages of birds layers, broilers, fryers, and turkeys, 
for chicks, pullets, and hens. Careful study has shown that the right size of granite grit fed at the right time can produce faster weight gains and substantially more egg production. In terms of money, the poultryman following the recommended grit program can affect considerable savings that mean added profits. In addition to grit size, experiments in appearance are also conducted. Some years ago, poultrymen observed that chickens are able to see light-colored reflective stones better than dark or dull stones. So this factor is also important in the formulation of feeding recommendations. In the research farm's two long, white, well-ventilated buildings, experiments are carried on under the most exacting conditions, following sanitary and humane specifications set forth by well-known agricultural colleges. Research into better poultry feeding methods is a never-ending job, demanding intensive testing year after year. As improved feeding recommendations are developed, the research farm continues to advise poultrymen throughout the United States and in many foreign countries of the best ways to increase both production and profits. The poultry industry has taken giant strides from the day of the small chicken farm. Today, raising chickens and turkeys, supplying eggs for America's dinner tables is big business. Poultrymen in the United States, through scientifically improved production methods, have raised their annual income to more than one billion dollars, transforming poultry into one of the nation's foremost farm crops. Allied industries such as processing and packaging have grown too. Plants all over the country receive healthy, meaty birds from modern poultry farms, and process them for the consumer. Packaged fresh or frozen, poultry goes out to grocery stores and supermarkets in every city and town, bringing wholesome goodness and nutrition to millions of families. Supplying granite grit to the nation's thriving poultry industry is the job of the sprawling quarry and plant facilities of Stone Mountain Grit Company. Production of granite grit begins on the quarry floor after powerful explosive charges have loosened over 70,000 tons of granite from the quarry face in one single blast. A 12,000 pound steel ball breaks up the large pieces of granite into manageable sizes. Trucks haul away 25 to 30 tons of granite in one trip. First stop is the primary crusher, where the granite pieces are broken up into still smaller sizes. One of the Earth's hardest stones, the crushing of granite requires rugged machinery. From the primary crusher, the granite begins its journey over some 6,000 feet of modern conveyor lines that will carry it through the entire production process, from raw materials to finished packaged product. Inside the modern plant, 
the most advanced equipment stands ready to crush the stone into stony mold granite grit. Completely modernized in 1950, the plant can produce 1,600 tons of granite grit in one working day. Its production line carefully organized to achieve a smooth flow from raw material to finished product. The granite goes through a number of crushing, screening, and cleaning steps to produce a variety of grit sizes. Careful control at all points makes sure that specifications are being met. Decreasing in size as it moves along the production line, the grit is crushed, screened, and separated over and over again. Finally screened to proper sizes, the grit is stored in clearly marked bins, a size for nearly every type of bird. Then hoppers receive the grit, channeling it to the packaging machinery. Automatic equipment fills containers of various sizes. Since consumption of grit averages only five pounds per year per chicken, a special 10 pound hopper pack is designed specifically for the small poultrymen. A battery of bag filling machines, some geared for 80 pound bags, others for 50 pound bags, fill 25 to 30 per minute. All the operator has to do is place a bag on the machine, and when filled, the flow is automatically cut off and the bag is sealed. Twenty-five bags are placed on each pallet, the final one at an angle to indicate a completed unit. Many of the world's leading soil authorities have for years expressed concern over the depletion of soil minerals, so necessary to the full health of plants and animals. Wherever minerals have been worked out of the soil, productivity has decreased. But in recent years, research has discovered that granite from the Lithonia, Georgia area contains more than 20 of the trace minerals needed for healthy soil. And continued study has come up with a new and exciting use for granite. Completely pulverized granite is being used to revitalize the soil. Spread over farmlands, its minerals are helping produce bigger, healthier crops of everything from wheat to tropical flowers. Recognizing the opportunity to serve crop farmers and orchardists, as well as poultrymen, Stone Mountain Grit Company has expanded its facilities to produce crushed granite for use on farms around the world. Called hybridite, this crushed granite is made in much the same manner as stony mold granite grit, except that it's completely pulverized. Special dust removal equipment placed throughout the plant reclaims excess dust and combines it with the pulverized granite.